Hi, got a ukulele back with another instrument review. Um, been really looking forward to do this one and getting hold of one of these. Thanks to Ohana for the loan. A welcome return for the Ohana brand on got a ukulele reviews. This is their um, sub sopra nino scale Ohana Onino. Uh, not the smallest uh, sub soprano I've seen, um, but it's the smallest one Ohana have made. They previously made the SK21 series. This is smaller still. Giving you some perspective, this is a standard soprano, so quite a bit smaller than a standard soprano. Scale length of 11 inches. Um, o Nino, all made from solid uh, mahogany in the body. We've got a solid mahogany top in one piece, uh, decorated with some black, white, black and cream edge binding and a cream and black sound hole rosette, very nice. Rosewood uh, slotted style bridge, easy string changes, and a bone uncompensated saddle. The sides are a single piece, so there's no join here, and the back is a single piece as well. It's all complete in a satin finish. Uh, sometimes on these Chinese uh, ukuleles, you'll find that um, the satin can be quite artificial looking. This isn't too bad. Um, no open grain structure, but you can see the wood. It's quite nice, actually. Looks like a little mini Martin. Um, I like it a lot. <clears throat> nice and tidy inside. We have a mahogany neck with a joint at the heel and a joint at the headstock. And that is topped with a rosewood fingerboard. Nice condition with 12 nickel silver frets up to the body. So standard soprano number of frets. Position markers in purloid. No side position markers, which I normally gripe about, but on a, a Sopranino, you'll see when I play it, because it's so small, it's not a major issue, because I don't think, you, I think you'd cover them with your hand. Past the bone nut, and a word now about nut width. Um, when you're going to a small instrument like this, the width of the nut is absolutely key for it to be playable. People think that if you've got big hands, you need a bigger ukulele, and I tell them that is nonsense. What matters more on space for the fingers is the width of the nut. Now, why is that important with a Sopranino? Well, some companies have made Sopraninos like Ayuk, and the nuts are just too narrow. I mean, I just couldn't play it. it. There's just not enough space for me. This, thankfully, is kind of more like a, a standard soprano nut. It's about 34 mil, um, so I can play it just fine, and that's a real boon. Um, so full marks there. Not full marks for the headstock. That's a standard um, soprano-sized headstock. If I show you the John Daniel, which I'm a big fan of, look at the difference in the size of headstock. Which one do you think looks more appropriate for the small body? I just think this is too big. And the reason they made it that big is because they want it to hold these, which is my other gripe. Now, these are open-geared tuners. There's nothing wrong with them. They work very well, and beginners will like them. But particularly on a soprano or smaller, I prefer friction pegs. You don't get this ears look and the big headstock. Now the SK21 series Sopranino used geared pegs and they were good quality ones too. So I'd be dying to see them on this. Uh, sadly not, we've got geared pegs. I know that's just personal choice. Some of you will be looking and thinking, thank God it's got geared pegs. Uh, Aquila strings and pretty good deal on price. While they've got a list of 220 or so dollars, you'll get these cheaper in Ohana dealers now. Um, I think Mims Ukes in the US is selling these for about $140. Southern Ukulele store in the UK about uh, £120. So a really good deal if you're in the market for a little one. Um, and I would recommend you go to a dealer like that when you're buying one of these. With Sopranino scale, the intonation and setup is even more important than any other scale because the problems really do come out. Um, so go to a, I know I bang on about this, but go to a dealer that will set it up for you. You really will need it on this. Um, tuning wise, you've got lots of options. Uh, yeah, you could tune it standard C tuning. I think the strings would be a bit floppy. You could do that horrible thing of getting those strings that allow you to go to a C above and sound like a, a wasp. Uh, it's so shrill. Um, Mim recommends trying it in D tuning. I did, I prefer it in what I've got it in, which is E flat tuning, which is to say B flat, B flat, E flat, G C. And that's gone a little bit out of tune, so I'm going to tune it for those people who think that I deliberately untune ukuleles for video reviews. So B flat. 
flat G and C now the other thing about a soprano people say I don't like them they're far too staccato of course they are the, so the soprano itself is a staccato rhythmical instrument it's not about long sustain if you want that get a tenor or a baritone so if you go to a soprano you're going to get even more of that so it's never going to be this sort of soaring highs and, and chiming sustain that's not what it's for it's a bit of fun um, and I think it's quite a good one it's playable Yeah, as playable as my John Daniel, it's much brighter than the Daniel. Uh, I prefer the Daniel tone, but you know, that's again personal preference. I like this more than the Carla Pocket, I certainly like it better than the tone on the IUK. Um, sustain actually it's just very high yeah rhythmical small fun um, yeah in the world of sopraninos I think this is a good one um, I like that nut I don't like the headstock um, but you know, maybe that's personal choice, but otherwise, typical Ohana build quality, very well made, nice and solid, nice and light, nice and balanced, nicely dressed frets, you know, really good little ukulele. Ohana, O Nino, look at that pocket little thing. Uh, keep an eye on God of Ukulele, some more instruments coming soon. They're piled up in this room, you can probably see the boxes around me. Um, see you again soon, bye bye.